at least for the past two to three weeks. And I mentioned it to the staff. You know, all the lights don't go on at night. You would think that the place is closed. And her reply was, well, that's good because then we're not that busy. With that kind of attitude, I could see why a multi, definitely the billions dollar company want to implement more artificial intelligence and use less people in the back of the house. And I know that there, I believe there's a Mickey D's in Texas. I watched the video. It's all run by artificial intelligence. Very few people in the back of the house. Customers order through the apps or order on screens. There's nobody to talk to. You walk in and pick up your bags and you leave. You know, that's how it is. You can look that up on YouTube. I can see why huge corporations like that want to figure out how can they use people less because that's a woman that you're not gonna have a job. Earlier this evening, I picked up from this place and it's located in Belmore for the summer, for now. They are closed July and August on Sundays and they need help, help wanted. This place opened up about a year ago. When I picked up, I was like, oh, hi, how are you? She's very nice. I've picked up here many times before. They have a good business. And I said, oh, I see your sign. Enjoy your Sundays off. And she was like, well, we don't want to close. I'm like, well, what? She goes, we can't get help. We have the business, but we don't want to close. We need a day off. We can't find staff. Now, to recap, recap the video that I uploaded yesterday about, I'll include the link in the description below. I forget off the top of my head the title of the video, but it's speaking about artificial intelligence um, take um, replacing jobs at Walmart. Shop and pay jobs are going obsolete. In-store shopping. A place like this can't find help because people don't want to do this type of job. Not many, but they want the service. They want the food. They want quality food. This is this place is always busy. I gotta try it one time. It's always busy. I I, I had a Grubhub night. I turned on Grubhub. So that's what I mean about we're watching we're watching this industry just get changed. There are a lot of places like this in the area that I work that are closed on Sundays now. Greek Cove's one of them. Fat Boy Burritos. It's not Chinese, but it's something else in that category. Asian food. They're closed on Sundays. Well, that's at least five places around here that are closed on Sundays. It's not worth opening if you can't get staff and you need a day off. So we're going to watch a lot of changes happening happen. I don't, I don't like, there's just not enough people that want to do this type of job. I could easily, if I really needed to get a job, I would come to a place like this. I'm, I, I, um, I would be easy to train. And after a few weeks, I would get right back in the groove. I still have it in me, but I'm not going to lie. I don't want to do that type of job anymore. I don't want to be behind in the back of the house, in the kitchen, even front of the house. I don't want it unless I had to do it. I set myself up with more choices. Now I'm going to give another YouTube channel a shout out that I've been watching for a long time, but I never gave him a shout out. And now it's time to do it. And I've watched him seize opportunity and just continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger. His jobs are getting bigger. Stay tuned. I forget where he's from, but I do watch him occasionally. And he has a van. 
His orders have gotten larger. They use the machines to put the crates in his car. You know, what they pile all the products on. I'm, I'm at a loss for words with that. But you know what I mean. That the machine places the pallet in his van and he straps it up. But then he has to deliver has those products and he has the strength and he has the right equipment. Like this one says, more drama on this dolly order. There are some orders you need more than a little cart. Like I know what I can take for an example when I deliver delivered orders. Now I know I review the subtotal because I can only do so much. Spark. I have in the app, I drive a hatchback. I don't want them thinking that I drive an SUV because I drive a compact SUV. But when I get to the delivery, I cannot deliver. You only could do so much. But this guy, he just seized opportunity. He keeps getting bigger, better. His videos are great. Like this one right here, he's standing in his van. I turn them on every few weeks. I go, let me go see what car, cars and crib is doing. Here's another one. There's his thumbnail. Look at all that stuff he's putting in his van. Look at that. That's his van. Look at that. That is his van. And he's piling up the goods. That's crazy, right? So he's... He sees opportunity. He's an independent contractor. He gets, you know, to write off all his business expenses. And the guy knows what he's doing. So check him out. I mean, this guy makes bucks. And he's really good. Instacart has changed. No tips and low pay. He's right. And it just confirms how Instacart, I feel is changing their business model, and I sensed it before they took me off their platform. They say I have a background discrepancy, but meanwhile, I'm joining other apps, and my background check is going through without a hitch. Anyway, I did notice it, and I remember completing a video about it, I was at a BJ's, oh, Pogo, <laughs> thank you. I was at a BJ's and they were telling me that I can complete a shot, but I couldn't communicate with the customer. I couldn't suggest any replacements and they were rolling out, treating us gig workers like in-store shoppers for a company and not delivering them. And he speaks about that in this video. And I said, I knew it. I knew they were making a change. They want to pay less. That's exactly what's going down. Instacart has changed. No tips and low pay. And it, it's even coming down to that. No tips. More low pay. Lower than it was before. So I'll include this link in the description below. Tonight, I went out for a few hours. I completed four Grubhubs and delivery pay was 1015 with all of them combined. Tips, $20.80. I'll view the earnings activity. And as you can see, Every order was under five miles. I didn't go far at all. So that worked out. I'm happy that I turned it on and I did reject two. And I completed four Grubby Hubs. So I'm very happy about that. Uber, $29.19. And if you count yesterday... I have $56.50 that I'll be cashing out in a few. The tips I earned yesterday from completing a curbside pickup 
to drop off delivery curbside pickup from Walmart have been sent to my one account and now I can transfer that money to the linked bank account. I have linked to the one account and as of now, no fees.